at 9. What you don't know about your city's home alarm rules could affect the response you get from police in an emergency. Many cities require a yearly security system permit. Fox 23's Lynn Casey joins us live with how that information could have changed a burglary call for one local family. Lynn. This family lived in their home just three weeks. On day three, they had their truck stolen, and that's why they got the security system. A few weeks later, this weekend, thieves came back, but they were not going to get the, the security and the protection that they were expecting. Just a little ding, like you have a text message or something. 3.30 Saturday morning, an alert from Cassie Gordon's alarm company. And then I woke up and check this camera and this is exactly what I saw. Two men prowling around her yard, one rummaging inside her car. Her husband went out triggering the alarm, so the company called Cassie. She said, we'll get somebody right out there. An hour later, they called TPD to find out what was taking so long. Guardian had called twice, but since we didn't have a permit that they like didn't take the report. They just canceled the report on it. TPD says the reason they have the policy about requiring a permit for a home alarm is simple. 98% of our alarm calls that we respond to are false alarms. The permit is supposed to help cut down on those false alarms. TPD says even if you don't have a permit, they'll respond if they know you're home or if you call them yourself, but. It's when your alarm company calls 911 for you, because your alarm's going off, but you don't have that permit. Those are the ones that we are not going to respond to. But in the Gordon's case, they were home. But TPD says the alarm company never told them they were at home. That's why TPD says since they didn't have their permit, they didn't respond. Even after we do get the permit, it's like I will still from now on call 911, even if Guardian says they've called, just to make sure I don't want to take that chance again of nobody coming. Now, if you have an alarm or you're getting one and you don't have a permit yet, we will have a link on Fox23.com with how to apply. Reporting live in South Tulsa, covering news that matters, I'm Lynn Casey, Fox 23 News.